So why should I care about growing native plants in my garden? In today's video, I'm visiting a native plant nursery. We're gonna talk about how native plants can make your gardening life easier. And at the end of the video, I'll share my favorite three plants that I purchased during my visit. Wild Type Nursery is located in Mason, Michigan, which is situated in the southern middle part of the state. What's interesting is that I didn't even know about this nursery until I was doing some research on native plants online. Honestly, I don't think it's that easy to find native plants to purchase, so I was pretty excited to learn about this nursery, especially since it was really close to my house. I found a link on the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center website, which is where you can search for local suppliers. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of the video so that you can find native plant nurseries in your area. Wild Type Nursery has been growing plants native to Michigan from Michigan genotypes since 1996. I loved seeing the old farm silos on site and the nursery has a really simple and charming character. The staff were extremely helpful and there's tons of great information on their website which can prepare you ahead of time for your visit. The nursery grows trees, shrubs, grasses, wildflowers, and emergent wetland species that are typical of Michigan woodlands, wetlands, and prairies. I visited during one of the two Saturdays that are open to retail buyers without an appointment and without a minimum order requirement. There was a really large selection of plants available to purchase, and actually the hardest thing was deciding what to buy. I was happy to see so many people on site during the retail sale day. You could feel the happy vibes of the gardeners that were browsing around buying plants. Many of the plants are grown from wild seed stock, and the nursery keeps track of when and where seeds or cuttings are collected, and they can provide the details of how the plants were grown and handled. All the seeds and cuttings are collected in Michigan, unless noted otherwise. The nursery also guarantees that their plant tags are accurate. So what exactly is a native plant? For the purpose of this video, native plants are those plants that occur naturally in a geographic area. We aren't gonna get caught up in the semantics here. And the great thing about native plants is they're adapted to the growing conditions in their environments. And since the wildlife and the plants in an area exist together, native plants support and provide habitats for the native wildlife. Some native plants are excellent attractors of pollinators and beneficial insects. So the pollinators keep plants producing fruits and seeds. The beneficial insects help maintain pest management without chemicals. And one of the keys to native plants is they support increased biodiversity. Since these plants are adapted to the climate, the soil, and the rainfall in an area, they tend to require less maintenance and fuss. And actually, that's something I can definitely get behind. I think it's important to mention here that some gardeners tend to get a little bit on their high horse when it comes to native plants. While we all need to be good stewards of the land, I don't think it's helpful to deny the positive contributions that hybrids have made especially plants that support food production. And I definitely don't appreciate when people try to shame other people if they're not growing exactly what a certain gardener wants them to grow. I honestly can live without the extreme sides that some gardeners take on social media. And I think we all need to be good stewards of our land, but there's still a place for hybrid ornamentals in the landscape. After all, hybrids were created by crossbreeding different plant varieties to get desirable traits from the parent plants, and that is a good thing. But there's absolutely no denying that native plants are key to helping us increase biodiversity in our gardens and really decrease maintenance. So most of the plants that I purchased at Wild Type will be used to establish a woodland border along my side yard. I'm working to remove the invasives in my garden, like this vinca vine. Here's an excellent example of natives in the garden right now. I've got these native geraniums blooming, and they look fantastic. The plan is to continue building this space into a woodland border using native plants. I purchased some great native plants at the nursery. So let's go take a look at a few. Hi, so we're back from the nursery, and I wanted to share my three top plants that um, I purchased while I was there. 
Yeah, so even though I did purchase a number of plants, I thought it would be kind of boring to go through them all in the uh, video here. But these are the three plants that I was really excited about and I wanted to share today. So the first one is a maidenhair fern. So I love this plant for a woodland setting and that's where I'm going to be putting it in my woodland border. It's got these great tall dark stems and this really delicately textured foliage on top. It's got a great movement in the garden when the wind hits it and just adds such a great texture. So this is going to be a really great addition to the woodland border. So the next plant that I purchased, I purchased three of these service berry trees. Now these are going to get very big in the landscape. These are a native tree. It's a multi-stem, as you can see, it's a multi-stem shrub, small tree. It's great for suburban type of landscape. Now they get a, a small white flower in the springtime, so they're very beautiful in the springtime. But for me, the reason why I purchased them is they get the greatest fall color. So I'm really excited about these plants, adding these to the landscape. Okay, and the third plant, this has got to be one of my favorites here. So the third plant I wanted to share with you is this prairie smoke plant. So these are just tiny little seedlings, but um, these plants get the coolest looking flowers during the growing season in the spring and early summer. And they're very, um, very hardy plants. And the thing that is great about them is they get the craziest looking seed heads later in the season. And they remind me of like a Dr. Seuss kind of plant. They're, they're just the coolest looking plants. So these were the third plant that I wanted to share with you today. Well, thank you for joining me on the tour of the wild type native nursery in Mason. Mason, that's a tongue twister. So thank you for joining me on the tour of the wild type native nursery in Mason, Michigan. It was a great place to visit. I'm so glad that I found it. I'm grateful to wild type that they offer weekends where just retail consumers can go and purchase native plants. It's not that easy to purchase native plants in my personal opinion. I'll be sure to include in the description below some of the resources that I found that actually helped me to find places where I can purchase the plants. So thanks for joining me. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.